Your girl has quit her job. I was unhappy with my job, but the bills needed to get paid. I feel as though that my creativity could be appreciated elsewhere. What made me realize I wanted to quit, honestly, is when my car got stolen. So that's the story in itself. What it do boos welcome and welcome back to my channel if you haven't already if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button go ahead and hit that subscribe button honey and if you like to see what i do outside of youtube follow me on all of my social media platforms i'll put it down below and i'll also put it down in the description box and as you all can see by description of this video as some of you may know your girl has quit her job <laughs> yeah so i just wanted to just talk about I guess my experience of quitting my job and actually not having a a plan I would say um prior to quitting my job so let's start with the when I quit my job so I planned on quitting my job August 18th but I ended up quitting on August 15th the reason why I quit my job is because I wanted to branch off into entrepreneurship you know, I've always had these ideas. Of course, I create content. So I don't want y'all to think that I quit my job to pursue um, being a content creator because I'm technically not even making money from like YouTube and Instagram, like all those platforms are not my tasks. But what I really want to do is be a freelance social media manager. So I've actually had companies that reach out to me. I've actually just landed my first client like couple days before I actually quit my job and I feel like that was my sign right there because I was kind of going back and forth because I was unhappy with my job but the bills needed to get paid so that was the only reason that was stopping me and I just kept on getting all the signs to just let go and let God and that's pretty much what I did you know at first I was a little hesitant but like now that I'm here I'm glad that I did it because I feel like it was just a burden off of my shoulder and I'm just a lot happier even though you know I don't have multiple clients yet I know that it will come you know I feel like some things I just have to sacrifice and I feel like letting go of my job was just one of the things I just really needed to let go it was like a mental warfare in my head but I knew that it was the best decision for me and in case you didn't know what my job was I was a marketing marketing coordinator for a real estate company I'm not gonna say the name but I was a marketing coordinator slash content creator for a real estate company here in Memphis. Um, I was working there for eight months. And honestly, after the second week that I worked there, I just knew that I was going to last here. But just because, like, I didn't really like the environment. I feel like it wasn't, like, a healthy, like, creative environment for me. And I just feel as though I just needed to let go. And... Honestly, I feel as though that I'm not I'm trying to like say it without without saying it, but I feel as though that my creativity could be appreciated elsewhere, if that makes sense. Like I feel like I would just kept on like trying to push out content for them. Um so basically what I was doing, I was managing the Instagram. It was two Instagrams that I was managing. I was managing two YouTube channels and a Facebook account so that's like what what five platforms that I was creating content on and then on top of that more work was being piled on top of the social media if for those who don't do social media social media is a full-time job like that's a job in itself and then other tasks were put on me like email marketing and ordering business cards and taking headshots and going to some of the houses to take pictures of houses including all of that too so that was just a lot and i feel like it was a strain and i feel like i was getting overwhelmed and i just i didn't like how it was making me feel like getting up in the morning and knowing that i don't like my job i just couldn't do it anymore and i just i love like some of the people there like some of my co-workers i love them down and you know they was you know some of them was basically telling me the same thing like you know just go after my dreams so i really do appreciate that um 
what made me realize I want to quit honestly is when my car got stolen so that's the story in itself so my car got stolen um, beginning of August actually it got stolen on August 1st I really wanted to do a video y'all that TikTok is like wake up it's the first night of the morning it says show that my car was stolen so yeah my car was stolen um on August 1st and then I didn't have my car for like what two days I think two or three days and while I was you know I had my car stolen honestly <laughs> And I hate to say this, but I was kind of glad that it happened because I didn't have to go into work. That's how bad I just did not like my job. Like, I would not go to work. Like, I did not want to go to work. And so the fact that my car was stolen, it was like an excuse for me not to go to work. And I feel like that was like my sign too, to contemplate on leaving my job and all that. But yeah, my car was stolen beginning of the, the month. And first off, the police here is terrible. NPD, counter days. But... I reported my car stolen around 12.45, maybe 1 o'clock, and apparently my car was found two hours after I reported it, but I didn't get a call or anything. MPD didn't call me, like no one called me. It just so happened I had some, some money that was in my car, so I had to add that to my incident. And I had to call a different number to put like add some information to my ticket and basically the lady told me that oh like your car has been recovered and of course like no one told me so my car was sitting at a like a record service shop for almost a day and a half and I didn't get a call so yeah when I got my call of course my windows was busted the ignition was pulled out and everything yeah I was kind of it was a very overwhelming day because I had to ask for rides and all that and get my window fixed and luckily my boyfriend was able to put like everything in the ignition back yeah so that was that was a whole thing so and then I had to go get my window fixed and then I had to go to the bank to file well, you know that I had some money that was stolen and then what else had to, I had to do I had to do so much stuff go back and forth to the toll place and it was so overwhelming and then what I found out is because the type of car that I have there's a recall and you can get like an anti-step installation so i got that done but it took literally three days to get it done and they were lying to me saying like oh it will be done this day oh it will be done this day then i came back then i'm like oh it'll be done in a couple hours and so i was just getting so angry because i literally couldn't even go to work anyway because they literally had my car and people offered well one person offered to like from my job to um so I guess pick me up and then take me to work and I was like no like I'm good like <laughs> it sounds bad but like no I was like I'm good like for real I'm good but yeah that was like a whole thing so the whole time that I didn't have my car I was just really thinking like dang like it's really nice being here and you know doing work like for myself and not being able to like clock in and clock out and so I just feel as though it was just the right time for me to to pursue that um and then it's like i don't have any kids i'm not married i'm just like a 23 year old woman out here you know just living life so i feel as though that since i'm young and you know some other adults was telling me that you know you're young like you have time to just like to to figure out what you want to do and so that kind of gave me like a little bit of confirmation also and then of course i had some people that was like are you sure you want to do that like can you make sure you got this and this and this and i'm just like the ones that get it get it the ones that don't don't it feels weird because one i'm already like doing content for a client and i'm also um bringing in new clients also from nashville and memphis so if y'all need if y'all know somebody who needs a social media manager hit me up one thing i did learn at my last job you know starting a business like starting like your own business you still need to treat it like a business like you still need to wake up a certain time you still need to do things at a certain time you know so you still need to put yourself on that schedule and i feel as though I'm, I'm i'm a little bit i'm i'm very disciplined when it comes to you know doing things that i want to do and just getting work done i'm very disciplined with that so i just i knew that like quitting a job around this time was the best idea for me and then not only that like it's not like i have pto so it's like i can kind of just do anything that i want freely honestly and that's just a good feeling. I feel like it's not going to hit me until 
maybe next month because we're going to see if the bill's going to get paid. Well, the bill's going to get paid. We're going to manifest that the bill's going to be paid, but it's going to be different, you know, just not having that consistent income coming in. So, yeah, I'm honestly, I feel good. Like, I feel so good. And for those who are close to my age, or a little bit younger, if you have a vision and there's something that's getting in your way from reaching that vision, it could be your job, it could be your relationship, it could be your friends. My advice to you is just remove it out of your life. I'm telling you, just remove it and you will see, I'm not going to say instant change, but you will see change for sure. You'll feel change mentally, physically, and emotionally. So I would suggest anyone who, you know, who's thinking about doing the same thing, thinking about quitting a nine to five job and just stepping into entrepreneurship, do it. I'm telling you, do it. You know, it might be scary at first, but it's worth it at the end of the day. It's very worth it. So yeah, that's all I just wanted to let you all know that like your girl is quitting her job. Does not mean I'm quitting YouTube, you know. Um, during this time that I'll be, I guess, self-employed, I do want to focus on, you know, amping up my content since I have a little bit more time now. Um, Y'all see right now I'm at an Airbnb from at a different location. So I just want to continue to just build relationship with, relationships with people and relate, build relationships with people on the internet and build, you know, a stronger relationship with you all who are watching my videos. And yeah, you'll definitely get a lot more content, um, a lot of more lifestyle content. So yeah, I'm just excited to just share this journey with you all and you know just can continue to just and continue to just be the content creator that i am so yeah if you all have any questions y'all want to ask you know about my job feel free to ask in a comment section or if you have my instagram snap facebook all that you can feel free to message me on there you know you have to ask me certain questions and all that so by the time this video go out i believe it will be my second week self-employed so yeah i will give y'all an update on all that um i guess going into week two of being unemployed or i gotta stop saying unemployed being self-employed so yeah thank you all for watching this video thank you all for all the support that you all have given me and i can't wait to just create more content for you all make more fun content and funny content also to bring more of my personality and to my videos so yeah, I thank you all for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.